Hey, hey, hey. So we are nearing the end of week six. Week six. Week six. six of weeks. our uh, Walt Disney World uh, marathon training schedule for January of 2020. Uh, we're uh, posting this vlog because I wanted to update everybody on my knees. So my knees are uh, not happy with me. And so for the longest time, I've been using KT tape when I run, right? Yeah. I have been the KT, KT tape applicator for and, years. And an excellent I've gotten pretty good. Yeah, oh no, you're, <laughs> you're excellent. And uh, KT tape is excellent. It really is. And they have been at every uh, Disney Marathon. Mm -hmm. They're at the expo every yeah, year. And, yeah, and I talked to them and I complimented. The, it's a great product. The thing is, mm -hmm. practicing for this marathon, we started going through a lot of tapes. Right? Mm -hmm. So I thought, hey, let's try a new way of uh, uh, protecting my knees and seeing how it works. So if you stick around, I'm going to talk about a, a compression sleeve that we're trying. Mm -hmm. And week six, we're running seven miles. It'll be the longest run using this uh, compression sleeve. So stick around. Update coming right now. <laughs> This is the athletic compression sleeve. I've been testing these out on my knees. I usually use kinesiology tape or KT tape, which has been fantastic. And if you've seen any of our running videos or running photos, I've got KT tape on both of my knees. Uh, we're running a marathon, a full marathon, and I wanted to try these out to see uh, how this would perform. So for you today, what I thought I'd do is show this to you. Compression sleeve, it's breathable, stretchable. It does have a kind of silicone little strip. It's supposed to help with uh, slippage. And it has two straps, or actually one strap, held in place by a loop. And I'm gonna show you how those straps come into play. So what I do is I take this, I fold the silicone down just a bit, and then I slip it on. Pull it up over my knee. You notice it's got this stretch area, kind of helps with uh, indicating where your kneecap is. So I get it on there, position it, and then I fold that silicone area up and over my thigh. Then, take the strap, and what I've done here really helps because they're Velcro, is I fold the Velcro over to keep it from sticking to every place I don't want it to. So kind of position these, and for my knee issues, I bring these over, and then under and over. And then when I get up here, I undo the Velcro and halfway across the Velcro strip, I attach that strap. And then I do the same thing with this one. I bring it over, attach, and we're good to go. You notice it comes across the bottom of my knee and then comes around the bottom, crosses back over, comes up to the top. I will say that uh, the longest run I've worn these four or on is five and a half miles. And so far, they have been terrific. They have not slid down my leg. They stay in place. I have not had to mess with the straps at all. And the best part, is my knees have not hurt at all. So, so far, so good. There'll be uh, links in the description if anybody's interested, if you wanna try these out. So there you have it. That's a compression sleeve I've been working with. So far, so good. Tomorrow we run... Seven miles. Seven miles. It'll be the longest so far in our training and the longest uh, using the compression sleeve. So we'll have an update for you if you stick around subscribe hit the notification button you'll find out about our next update which will be our six week training week mm -hmm.
pretty exciting stuff. January 2020, here we come. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. And remember, no matter what we do, it's always an adventure with you.